So, uh, what happens when the wife leaves you alone? Stuff shows up in the mail. <laughs> talked about it two and a half weeks later it's morning time we have got them in the mail last night yesterday I got to see them last night I already opened up but I figured we'd show you guys what is going on the old Yamaha here so instructions or at least you know go over about it and everything nice awesome little table here too Big thanks to uh, APE for uh, selling them to me. They've got a website. I send a catalog and everything. So they're located out in California, Rosa Rosamond, California. Yeah, American Performance something APERacing.com. So, not sponsored, not told to do anything like that or whatnot. I'm just giving them a shout out. Thanks for that. So, all right. We've got fuel line, miscellaneous cabling, and other stuff for because it's universal applications and it tells in the uh, instructions on what bikes that they recommend or whatever to put it on to uh, what you need to do and everything. So, got fuel line here. I don't know what this does, and I don't think I'm going to need it for anything, but... You always hold on to good stuff, right? So we've got that. We've got jets, zip ties, fuel clamps um, in here and uh, other little miscellaneous things and stuff like that. I'll have to go through and look. A barb T for the, the fuel and everything. I'll probably end up using that to put an inline filter, go from two into one back into two. So I have that filter location, unlike the other setup here that I had, because the air box and everything was so in the way on this. So I'll probably end up doing that. So I'll have to get another T and everything. Avoid using two filters and stuff like that. So I've got a whole bunch of stuff here and whatnot. And got the sunlight helping me out today. So more jets and everything. Like I said, the 120s in there, which this will run 130s. Um, and then there's other like little pilot jets and stuff like that. So it comes with those. And of course, what everybody wants to see, the carburetors themselves. So these are the McCuney RS36 DAKs. All the uh, fuel drain when you go to drain it. So carburetors themselves. Um, the quality is awesome. I love it. Uh, brand new carburetors for this. That's just great. Um, some of the awesome little features that they have on these and whatnot, if you hadn't looked them up, you can quickly change out the jets with these screws right here. Just look right inside, quick change jets. And up at the top, you have the ability to quickly be able to adjust the, uh, slides and everything and whatnot. A lot of easy adjustments being a racing carburetors stuff like that so they do have an important tag sticker here and I can't stress this enough about it I, I believe them firmly on this and whatnot but this is designed to be used only in a conjunction with a dual cable push pull type throttle system the use of a single cable may be potential hazardous that it may not always allow the throttle valve to properly return to its close position or it would return slower than normal due to the very strong vacuum suction created which is understandable so that is why I have that set up on the way right now and whatnot. But I figured we could mount these up and see what they look like on there and everything. And because once I get these mounted, then I got to mount my cables and stuff like that. So, um, did I clean up the engine? No, but I'll have plenty of space with these and whatnot. So I really don't want to try to fire it up without the cable system just so I can have the rev tune and everything. Cause this is a pretty aggressive spring pretty aggressive spring setup and stuff like that but still vacuum can definitely stop that as they've said so 
or not, um, these are just, it's, these are just amazing and stuff. That's all I can really say. Shiny new parts. Who doesn't love that? Also on the side here, which will be on the left side, this is how to be mounted on the back. This would be the back towards the back here. You'll have your choke right here for cold starts. And on the bike, we're going to have to eliminate that cable. I don't know if I really want to retrofit, but I kind of like this setup right here. So, Also, these do have an accelerator pump. It is located right here, and it pumps all four of them. And that is fully adjustable too, and I'll have to adjust that after I get the throttle system for a quarter to three quarter throttle on it. One guy he recommended, and uh, I would join an Australian group on SXs because that's the only thing I could find really. And uh, also, a guy in Australia used these, so I figured why not? You know, they seem like they really like these bikes a little bit more down there. So uh, joined in. He said to disable the accelerator pump because it was running pretty rich. But I said I'll play around with jetting and stuff, and we'll go from there and whatnot. And uh, another buddy of mine, he uh, raced circle track, and he used these on a 600 engine and uh, said that they're very uh, sensitive to when you go to tune all of them. And I said it's better than the CV carbs that I couldn't tune at all. So uh, that's I'd rather take tunability over non-tunability. I can't work with something that doesn't want to work at all. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll get started on uh, mounting these up. And uh, I've read the instructions, little WD-40 around the boots and stuff and get them put on here, see what it looks like. And this will be kind of jumped into, you know, a couple days over here, you'll see things change and everything. Cause uh, this is morning and JAP Cycles is delivering the throttle cables and linkage up this afternoon. I'll be at work when it go, comes to me. So that is that. And a lot of custom work on that, and I'm not afraid to be doing that on this. So a lot of money to be putting into a bike like this, but then again, you know what? I, I really like this bike and plan to go full on on it. I mean, anybody could probably go out and make monthly payments and stuff, but uh, on a new bike, and I'm not shaming anybody on that whatsoever, but you all know me by now, and if you don't, check out the rest of my channel, how I love to bring older stuff, chainsaws, small engines and stuff, back to life, and uh, just keep on using them and whatnot. And this bike has been nothing but reliable the time I was using it, and kind of my fault for not uh, going and draining the fuel and everything in it and whatnot, but even then, it had a carburetor issue before it was finally parked and everything, so it just, uh, it was one of those, it was time for updating on her and whatnot. So now is the time and we're going to be doing it through here, get this at least running and then next spring definitely go and start doing more upgrades and I'll be able to sit down, stare at it, go through online and plan other things. But all right, um, I'm yammering. Let's go ahead. Let's get started put, fitting these on. Stop. Stop. Ah. Oh, it's technology failing me. All right, so then this definitely, whenever you take these off, any carburetors, port stuff you don't want stuff getting into, uh, plug them up with paper towels, rag, or something like that, you know. And this time of year, we've got those little brown stink bugs around, and they will crawl into everything. So breathers plugged off, these definitely plugged off. Go ahead and we'll put a touch of WD-40 on the inside of the boots here. Well, maybe if it'll spray out the can. Of course, I was using it to kill the little buggers. So. Hey, do me a favor. Go ahead and hit that like subscribe and help leave a comment for me what do you think didn't see the previous episode go ahead and uh, take a watch at that get these uh, clamps they'll probably fall out of place a thousand times on me but at least it was good intention to uh to not so Alright. Screwdriver handy here to loosen this one up just a tidbit more. There we go. 
just a little bit to... All right. I don't think I'm gonna need these little vacuum tubes on the bottom. Not gonna need them for now, these uh, fuel drain tubes. I always put them back on later. So. Oh, gotta cut off the uh, warning tag here. Of course, my cutters are over in the toolbox. That would be my neighbor. Every morning you will hear his car alarm going off. So far the record I counted was 23 because he forgot his keys in the house. He generally gets to about between three and four. Making sure, seeing who's all in my way here. So I've got a couple relays and switches and stuff. No, they're not too bad in the way, but we can relocate them. There we go. <coughs> so we're gonna have to move some of this wiring harness here. These connectors are slightly in the way. They'll just spread right apart. There we go. And the throttle cables and stuff can get right in there. Well, those, that's just beautiful. And I like, we'll get a cinch down here. We'll just snug it down real quick. Get her to sit up right here and snug it so it's not sagging and we can assess everything here but the carb spacing on these is between numbers one and two is 77 millimeters between number two and three is 85 millimeters and then three and four is 77 so you got the so when you're buying these carburetors you got to be appropriate and the other set were that I could have bought were 77 93 and they could have been spaced together but I decided just to buy these for already being spaced and ready. Get over to your guys' side. Looks like polishing a turd here. That's exactly what I'm doing to this bike. Kinda wish it was summer. But I'd be sweating to death by now. Push it up in there real good. And then convince this clamp to quit rotating on me. That's good enough. So that'll give us a, enough right there to assess things. So, all right. <sighs> we go that it's beautiful as you can see up here there's a harness slightly in the way but I can zip tie that up and out of the way here so voltage regulator I think that is so but there's gonna be space there when I go to do the cable and everything holders right there but overall it fits in there like a charm and then the pod filters right here and then this is just going to be by the time I put the battery back in over here it's just gonna be a ton of space right there so it definitely leaves uh, what choice of filters I can use I don't know what some of the ports do yet whether I got to plug these ones off all four of them have it I got to look up what that does ask around there's our choke just I like that so we'll get rid of that cable setup or whatever we can do. Yeah, my knee's popping. Well, now, let's see here. Got to route fuel lines and stuff like that, and they're just right here. So fuel line there, fuel line over there. We'll just connect it into some T. If I want to go real fancy and make it look pretty, I might do that. 
Alrighty, so now we got to snap into waiting for the throttle assembly to come and everything. So like I said, that's a single. That is a no-no. But I like how on this now, the idle adjustment is right here versus down here on the old ones where you had to put your hand in between this and the cylinder and pretty much burn yourself. My dad actually got burned on it. He had a little marks from the fins on it adjusting the idle. So that was a, not the greatest idea, guys. So, All right, anyways, now we're going to wait until we get the throttle assembly in. And then we will be right back. Okay, so we are back on the bike here this morning. And uh, you know how I said I was going to do the brakes with you guys and put the throttle on? Yeah. Oops. So the brakes was kind of a last second thought after I put the carbs on there. And uh, I found out it was the right side one was hanging on the pin for the, uh, for the brake pads next day, by the way. Um, was all corroded up and everything and holding them in place and stuff like that. So took that, took it off, took it apart, cleaned it and everything, took it to the wire wheel on the bench grinder, and it, uh, it isn't sticking anymore. And I made sure when I verified I was watching the pad move, and it would move over when you gripped it, and then it sucked back. So it was trying to move back, it just it wasn't. So now I can move the bike as you should be able to without a brake grabbing onto it. So we got that. The throttle assembly all came in the mail yesterday, of course, I was at work, and came in the mail and stuff, and the next thing I know, I'm in the middle of working on it after work and everything, and pulled a late nighter on that and got that hooked up, um, made throttle cable adjusters, and uh, improved, made it to where one uh, cable adjuster could work because I, need I needed a short one, I needed a long one, and I had a bolt, an Allen cap bolt that was absolutely perfect for the job and everything. Cut a slot in it, everything, nuts and whatnot. And it is safe. It is actually stronger than what you could buy. If I, But I couldn't even find any on eBay or Amazon, I, no matter what I typed in. So I got all that adjusted, everything. Everybody's uh, happy on that. I'll show you here the whole assembly. I was just starting to adjust for the accelerator pumps here. And that's when I said, whoa, let's get these people in here real quick, shall we? So, so, got the cables all on. I gotta finish like any zip tying or stuff that to the frame and whatnot to keep everybody happy. But got adjusters. There's one on the top, uh, the back one here, made of a bolt and everything. Works perfectly too. Thank goodness for Dremel tools. So have that all up. Stuff's in place. And this is where I was starting to do for the adjustment of the accelerator pump. Now, you have to adjust it from quarter throttle to three quarter throttle. So I had to put tape or whatever I could find that was sticky. Here, mark it from closed to open. So I got to mark from half, quarter, three quarter, go down to the carburetor and adjust on that. You're supposed to do this with the bike off according to the instructions, at least this part. And then I'll, I'll have to hook up fuel to verify everything and whatnot, but I got to get the battery and stuff back in it to uh to do that and everything so we can probably do a first start and i'm still wanting to do a bracket here just because of the weight and everything tied off from like a set of screws back here up to here or even here so i kind of still want to do that but we'll see everything so but everything's uh coming together so at least we have throttle right and full throttle i did verify that last night so, made sure the blade was all the way up. So, we're good there. So, without further ado, uh, I'll get that. Uh, I'll get that. I'll get that marked. I'll get this uh, assembly tossed back together. I don't know what fuel source we're going to run off of yet. If it's just going to be the uh, primary fuel off the tank, or if we're going to run just some little can I've got laying around and everything. Just uh, you know, I don't know. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get that going. All 
All right, so gas tank is fitted. It is 100% on, not bolted down, but it won't. It's not going to go anywhere. Um, I haven't turned the fuel on to the carbs yet, so I got the uh, accelerator pump adjusted. Sat there for a little bit and back and forth, back and forth on that. And pretty simple. Just uh, it's two screws. There's one that sets when it starts, and then one that stops for the travel. Pretty simple stuff. So uh, got the fuel lines on. Fire. Fuel lines are on, no air filters yet or anything, but my primary purpose is to see it run with this, try to get the idle set, which shouldn't be too difficult. These idle at 1100 RPM, and I don't know where it sits right now, I'll probably have to play with it and everything, get it warmed up and whatnot, so I may actually try to back it up here a little bit to do this. So, yeah, kind of start, instead of being crunched in right here, where all the exhaust is going to kill me faster. Didn't put it in the side covers on, no point in that yet, so it's kind of pointless to do that and everything. I may have to get back in and take some stuff out. I'm going to have to start the sink, at least have it closer to the door where you can breathe in all the carbon monoxide, right? Batteries in, works great. I have to get off on the other side, but the chair's there, so. I think we are set to go ahead. Sorry if I get in the way during this or anything, so. We'll put you guys back here. Try to get the idle set. I'll be probably trying to be stupid and yell over it. Alright, set to prime holes, and I'll know when they're filled on these because the accelerator pump. So, all the ports are plugged off that need to be. These little ones right here are atmosphere vents for the float holes. I just look at the book of that. Guy, you get the nervous shakes? I do. Some do, some don't. Some won't admit it. It'll go away, all the bud flies go away once it's good. Alright. Let's see Maybe you will get down to it someday. There we go. It took it a moment, but that is all right. We got fuel to it. We will go ahead and choke. I don't know how long you got choked this for, but be ready to stop.
together. Definitely was a fuel issue, not timing. It's running exactly as I remember it. Oh yeah, way too much. So I'll have to back that off a little bit. Other than that though, beautiful. Very, very happy with this. She is a very happy bike again. Um, I still got lots of fine tuning stuff to do, like the primaries and everything and whatnot. Um, but throttle response is instant. If you remember the last videos, how with those it would just it would stutter up real bad and everything and whatnot. These right here, I have the only thing I did for a moment there. I just accelerated a pump just a little bit, not to activate so soon, and man, she just gets on it. I don't even know if it's really actually needed, but we're gonna we're gonna roll with it and everything and see what she does. But she is a very, very happy bike now. That motor is just ready to get back on the road. So it uh it sounds just like it did back in the day. A little healthier, actually. The idle is much smoother, much steadier. So, like I say, I gotta get pod filters. I gotta get a crankcase filter and stuff like that. That'll probably be a lot of off-screen. Um, but you can see all the room here. I'm gonna be redoing fuel lines and stuff like that, run them and whatnot. And, but it, uh, very happy with this. Like I say, we'll get the vacuum lines and stuff for the pumps and everything so lots to do little stuff but i don't know if i want to bore you guys with that i'm pretty sure uh some people do some people do. and you know me i'll still go over what i did so there now she is uh she's very happy and i'm just uh i'm really glad big thanks to you know uh ape for the uh for the carbs and everything they were the best price too so you got to call them. They got this catalog they send. They've got an online one, but like I said, they're not sponsoring me or nothing. Just super huge thanks to them. Comes with other jets and stuff and whatnot. And, but you look them up. McCooney, you guys build an awesome, awesome product. Keep up the work, guys. Seriously. So, all right. Just want to say uh, thanks for watching. I am over here sweating to death. And as you saw, that that was a very easy first startup. I, all I had to do was just choke it once I got the primers going, accelerator pumps, and I just had just to turn up the idle just a little bit for the choke and everything. And after she warmed up, I got the uh, idle set at about a little above 1100 just because. But uh, she is good to almost go, maybe. So, so all right, I'm rambling on. Till then, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, please. Super huge thanks also to Jeremy who helped me out with a few things and whatnot on this, ideas and everything. So check out his channel, Jeremy Bell, Bellhopper. And uh, go ahead and subscribe to Doug, Indiana Doug, and whatnot. And uh, thank you.